Welcome to my channel guys. Today I'm going to discuss with you an alternative way of acquiring your collectibles. As you could see, I'm a fan of uh, NBA cards and uh, Magic the Gathering cards. So the most common way of acquiring your collectibles are through your local game stores, uh, buying singles of course, and uh, buying from individuals from a playgroup or from the community uh, locally but uh, if you have the cash of course you can buy um, sealed products but that would be more costly let's just say that uh, the card that you're looking for isn't available here locally or let's say it's available but then the price might be expensive or um, you might be looking for a much rarer uh, print so it gives you a hard time to uh, buy the cards locally at the same time uh, there would be instances wherein you would have to buy from different sellers or various sellers and we have to face it you would have to pay shipping multiple times as well given that there is a pandemic right now uh, there aren't really much uh, meetups happening most of our transactions or the purchases that we do happens uh, uh, online uh, and then the cards would be shipped to you and most of the time you'd be paying for that shipping so let me focus a bit on this service before I go back to our discussion to the alternative way of buying your collectibles. Um, buy and Ship Philippines allows you to consolidate purchases from various um, stores in the US or worldwide and then have them all ship to their Hong Kong warehouse. It also allows you to have a US address this US address allows you to have minimal shipping cost from your uh, online purchases and most of the time the ones that I've uh, looked for uh, gives me free shipping so if you really find a good deal for a card the good price and it's free shipping you're really going to save money for that purchase and again uh, the charges would be 350 pesos per pound and since uh, we are buying collectibles or cardboard rectangles as a famous <laughs> line from someone um, the weight of the shipment would most likely be uh, less than a pound another good thing with this uh, service is that you could consolidate your purchases once all your purchases arrive in their hong kong warehouse um, you would have the option to put together various purchases that would not go over uh, ten thousand pesos in value the reason for that is if a package that is sent from abroad be shipped to you here uh, locally uh, the customs would uh, have to charge you uh, customs duties and taxes for that specific uh, parcel so that's uh, I could discuss that on a separate video uh, when I uh, tackle about uh, buy and ship Philippines how it works how it uh, how it uh, helps uh, us in uh, our aim uh, of uh, acquiring uh, goods and uh, goods in the US so allow me to show you some of my purchases online uh, this right here is a copy of uh, Doc Faden uh, it's a uh, legendary planeswalker that is uh, currently selling at $70.82 uh, this is a G mid pricing so it's a uh, masterpiece foil 
that's why it's a bit pricey so if you were to try to buy this locally you'd probably get uh, I hope you would agree with me at least the very minimum uh, TCG mid 40 as a multi multiplier so if that's a $70 card at times 40 you'd probably be paying 2,800 uh, pesos for that specific card locally and uh, if you were to pay shipping that's another 180 pesos or so but then again um, on eBay I found a listing of the same card uh, right here it's being sold at uh, $51.85 so at that price the shipping is already free and since I'm using the buy and ship service uh, which uh, have provided me a US address uh, I'm not paying additional for taxes and for shipping so I'm only paying the $51.85 so with the current multiplier at uh, 48 pesos per dollar using uh, PayPal conversion uh, I only paid uh, around 2,500 pesos for that uh, specific card compared to 2,800 pesos when uh, if I were to buy it here locally <clears throat> so another example of a recent purchase that I just made is uh, this one right here so uh, I bought this questing beast uh, extended art uh, foil version from uh, throne of eldraine uh, on ebay uh, though the current tcg mid pricing for this one is 72 dollars 89 cents or 73 dollars uh, tcg mid again using times 40 which is a uh, uh, reasonable price to uh, get for you'd probably paying around the same amount 2800 for this card without the shipping cost but on eBay as you could see right here it was offered for $50 and uh, uh, $50 at uh, say 50 pesos per dollar would only also be 2500 pesos so again, it's cheaper uh, online, on eBay at least. Last one, um, this card right here. It's a copy artifact. The TCG mid uh, pricing for a revised copy of a copy artifact is, as you could see, $170. This though recently spiked. And this one I only got for $70.33. So as you could see on the top, you'd probably say I paid for shipping for this one. It ended up costing me $76.45. So right now, it's safe to say, what a steal. Of course, the uh, condition on the car that I bought, uh, it's not a mint condition, but uh, locally, you wouldn't also get a uh, mint condition for uh, TCG mid uh, 40 price. Uh, this one, actually, even if you apply TCG mid 30, you would still be saying that it's much more cheaper in the US than here in the Philippines um so for the three cards in total since buy and ship philippines offers consolidation i'm allowed to show you this math if combined those three on uh, based on tcg mid 40 pricing which is most probably what you're going to pay for here in the philippines uh, that's $170 plus $70.89 plus $70.82. 
uh, $311 total multiplied by 40, let's say a quick math, uh, 12,000 pesos. So without the shipping, of course, versus the uh, amounts that I've uh, gotten them for uh, via eBay. That is uh, only 76 Point forty-five plus fifty dollars plus fifty-one point eighty-five dollars, right here. Total of one hundred seventy-eight dollars multiplied by, of course, the uh, uh, conversion cost for PayPal, which is uh, forty-eight pesos per uh, dollar. That's only eight thousand five hundred fifty-eight pesos. So a huge, huge difference around. 3,500 pesos difference from the uh, TCG mid 40 uh, equivalent or I must say around 4,000 pesos difference so even if I do not discuss the details of the amount of shipping it would probably be more um, ideal to purchase via eBay at least for these three cards that I've mentioned and since i have discussed with you the service of uh, buy and ship philippines those three cards right now are currently uh, en route to uh, the portland oregon uh, warehouse of buy and ship philippines where they would then go to uh, the hong kong warehouse and uh, since those three uh, based on the invoices I only paid $170 plus for them. I can consolidate those three purchases from three uh, different uh, sellers and then have them ship right through my doorstep for only 350 pesos. So that's a huge uh, savings. I might have even paid for uh, 350 pesos on three separate shipping here locally okay via of course your local couriers so having said that um let me give you a quick recap about uh, the things that we've discussed here so number one i'm just showing you an option an uh, alternative option where you could buy from the u.s rather than locally <clears throat> but it doesn't mean that uh your this is applicable for all the purchases that you're going to make uh again this is a case-to-case -case, uh basis it would depend on the type of card that you're looking for and it would depend on the prices of those cards uh in uh, the us next one is um i've discussed with you details of why that option is uh feasible uh, because of the rate of uh, uh, PayPal. PayPal conversion is only at 47.50 or 48 pesos. Also, um, the service of Buy and Ship Philippines is actually amazing wherein uh, we are actually benefiting from it since we're only uh, buying uh, lightweight items or cardboards basically so they also have this consolidation service that is really really a uh, huge deal because it allows you to consolidate up to let's say 10 uh, different purchases and then have them ship all together at once and only pay for 350 or maybe 700 bucks because they only charge you 350 pesos per pound now the you have to also understand that you can only do this if number one um, you have all the resources that would allow you to pull off this kind of uh, purchase when i say resources that would be you would have to have a paypal account you would have to set up a buy and ship account you would have to know uh, or read more about the technicalities which where i could help you with i could make videos 
just comment down below if you need or if you want to know a specific thing about this uh, service i'll do a video on that you would also have to have time to search for uh, listings that would be a good uh, deal and uh, lastly uh, you would have to have patience because this isn't an uh, instant thing um, when the card is available he here locally you can just wait two to three days and then the card would be shipped to you instantly but with this one uh, based from my experience you would have to wait at least uh, three weeks on the minimum and then on the maximum would have to be a month or two just because of consolidation of course there would be negatives uh, with these options one of which is of course the delay uh, the insurance policies what if uh, my shipping got lost um, what if the cards that I bought would be would end up fakes uh, one thing I could uh, tell you guys is when you buy from eBay you'd probably be say safe because eBay is super buyer friendly um, I had this one instance I'm not, not just going to disclose uh, more details about it but uh, I had a dispute on one of my purchases but I ended up getting a refund from that and it was really easy and uh, some people uh, they even go through abusing it but <laughs> I wouldn't want you to do that of course uh, but I just want you to feel confident and safe when you're doing purchases uh, via eBay um, this thing that I'm talking about is not limited to of course the magic cards it's not limited to of course eBay uh, the service also is not limited to buy and ship I, I've used uh, shipping cart before I've used um, uh, ship my cards before with the uh, NBA stuff um, but I find them a bit costly uh, than uh, buy and ship Philippines and uh, of course um, you can buy electronics gadgets or whatever you like online they would just charge you 350 per pound i just uh, saw an opportunity for uh, trading cards for collectibles because uh, again they're darn too light <laughs> so you can take advantage of this kind of service that Ship Philippines is uh, providing us so that's it for my video I hope I've given you um, some information about how I uh, purchase cards abroad um, how I think it's uh, a better option sometimes and uh, of course I have friends uh, local sellers right here I'm not saying uh, I'm not doing this video to put them down or to put them out of business. It is just uh, to show you guys um, that uh, it's possible for you to get your own cards. But of course, if you're just looking for some cards that are readily available, you can always buy locally. If you're looking for cards that uh, are not that expensive and you think you can take advantage of uh, uh, a group buy from say abu games or mtg mint of course you could do that i'm doing that continue doing that so i'm of course still supportive of uh, our um, lgss so again this is just for additional information or uh, additional way of you guys acquiring your, uh, expanding your collection. So again, thank you and have a good one. Bye-bye.